Hello you guys, I am the Tronster FX and this is going to be a C4D tutorial. So if you guys can see right here, um, I said 100 likes for a C4D sync tutorial because it's been really recommended on my channel. So you know why not and I actually got 113, almost 115 likes. So today we are going to, sh I'm going to show you guys how to C4D sync. So basically open up your C4D and go to uh, width and height put that to 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080 I used the uh, 30 FPS um, and go to frame rate frame range put that to all frames we're going to change this up to 300 that is exactly 10 seconds long now after we do that now we have to find a song to use I'm going to use this song Okay, that's our song that we're using right there and over here it's kind of going to I'm gonna show you guys how to basically do the C4D sync I'm just gonna show you guys the basics of C4D sync right here so basically we're going to copy and if you guys don't know if you guys can't find songs just go to my songs play playlist so we're going to copy the link, we're going to go to uh, YouTube to MP3, I'm going to paste that link, convert the video, click download, and we're going to wait until it finish downloading. Now we're going to go to online mp3 cutter, also known as mp3cut.net. Now if we go to our downloads, oh, downloads there, uh, we have to find where the drop is. That's way too loud. Okay, let's low. Lower this down. So I saw the drop was at one minute and six seconds. So we're gonna go two seconds behind because of the C4 resync, and this is gonna kill my ears. I'm just gonna bring this to two. And um, we're gonna drag this blue marker right here to like right here. Go to two seconds behind the drop and um, click cut click download uh, just save on your desktop it's fine now open up your cinema 40 um, you know you probably have a light room or something and if you don't have a light room then you know do what I'm doing just click file new just click file new and you know um, put a circle in the camera and text now we're going to go to MoGraph effector and click sound we're going to click on the sound file and click on these dots. We're going to go to desktop. I'm going to find that song we just did the MP3 cut thing on. Click open. Now, if if we did this correctly, if we click on this green thing, green play button right here, it should play the song. So I saw the drop about 55 um, frames right here, and we have to go like about um so basically i recommend just doing your regular you know um camera movements like so this is just basic and then just find where the drop happens mine's about 55 seconds so i have to do the spin at 55 so wrong right here so You have to re. Uh, I recommend just, like keep watching it like this. About a hundred frames right here. So just go like five frames behind that second drop, and move that green thing to the uh, left or right a little bit. And now keep frame. Now it has like a little movement. You guys can see. Now the uh, the second beat in the song is at 100 frames so we're just gonna you know rotate this blue thing to right here that looks pretty good 
so far. Hey, uh, that's pretty basic. So next uh, beat is. Brown right here at 25 frames. So we go 5 frames behind and then we're gonna rotate a barely. So it has a local movement. And we're gonna rotate one more time like this. Now we're gonna go to the second beat of this song. I think it's 35. Five frames. So we're gonna slightly move this blue thing, keyframe. Gonna go 35 frames, and then we're gonna rotate it like this this time. I know it looks kind of confusing. Just keep watching. Just keep rewatching this tutorial. Uh, like, trust me, this is gonna help. Like this, so far looks pretty decent. And if this is your first C4D sync intro, this is actually going to look really good. Next beat is at brown, uh, 180 frames. So we're going to go 5 frames behind, 175, going to no, move that barely. Uh, the reason why we're moving it barely is because it has a little bit more movement. It looks way more smooth like that. I'm going to go to 180 frames and then we're going to move just back to normal like that. Alright, so like that. Gonna move that. Uh, gonna move that to 120 because the drop, the next beat happens at 125 frames. So now, um, basic, we just use the circle to see 40 sync. That's just basics right there. Like, I can move it up here. Right about here. Move it barely. Boom. Can move that down here. It just use the camera. Um, like that's kind of the basics right there. I mean, like I usually start the commentary is really bad. It's just that I'm not used to like talking while making intros. But basically, uh, just C40 sync with the circle. It's basically really simple. It's probably getting on point and being creative with this. It's kind of really, to be honest, easy. It's just that you need to get used to it and um, practice. And next speed is at 60. So we're gonna just like... We're gonna make it go up like this. That looks pretty sick. And then we're just gonna stop right there. So gonna move it to the right a little bit. Yep. So that's pretty much it for the C4D sync. Um, I know this is really too basic for my taste. So, this is way too basic for my taste, you guys. So we need to put some more movement on this stuff. So let's see. Right there. So this beat right here, go to um, the second beat. When it like moves, you can go to like the five uh, the, to the frame to the five frames behind the actual second beat. And now go and go to the camera and go key frame and go five frames ahead to the actual second beat. And then we're gonna like make this zoom out like this. So it's pretty cool. And then it's gonna come back in at around 25 frames where it's supposed to like, you know, where the third um beat comes in. So we're just gonna 
make that really zoomed in, like so. So it should look like this. And right here, uh, we're gonna zoom in barely, like that. Now we're gonna go five frames ahead to the fourth drop. And then we're gonna put it like really far again. Now we're gonna go to the circle, go to the fifth beat, five frames behind. I'm going to keyframe that. Now, five frames ahead to the actual beat, we're gonna copy paste the um, first frame right here where it's normal. Now, I'm gonna paste over here. So now it should be normal. So, to be honest, that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, there's nothing much I can show you guys. It kind of looks weird, so I'm just gonna go 20, 220, right there. So that's the basics of C4 using. It's mainly just using the circle and camera. That's the basics right there. Um, and just keep listening to where the actual draw uh, beats are. So. And sorry if the sync kind of looks. I mean, the C4 sync isn't the best. I mean, I'm just showing you guys, I'm not actually gonna render this out. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the C4 d sync right there. Um, to watch it in normal time, click on this movie thing and hold. Go to all frames, and it should be unchecked now. So now it's like normal time uh, thing. No, you can watch it in normal time. I know um, some of the beats are off, but you guys get the point. Just like keep rewatching it until you find the beat. I know it gets confusing once in a while, but it's just practice. Um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for this, you guys. Um, Hope guys did enjoy the tutorial. If guys do, make sure you guys do leave a like. It does help me out. Um, if guys want, if guys want more tutorials, just tell me in the comments below. And that's basically it. Hope guys enjoy. Have a great day and peace.